Hello, this is Jonas and welcome to this video where I will show you a new feature I have implemented in my VSGL by VSGL with extension. If you are using the VS Code editor, you can go to the extensions tab, search for VSGL with and install VSGL by VSGL with, which will give you syntax highlighting for VSGL files as well as useful snippets templates that you can insert in your VSGL code to save it time and also this new feature that I'm going to show you now which is Emacs like stutter mode because I'm an old Emacs user before I started using VS code I used Emacs for more than 10 years and I really miss this feature from Emacs's VSGL extension which is stutter mode and I'm going to show you how it works by going to a VSGL file here and then if I type comma and then comma once more, so two commas after each other, it's going to replace that with a left arrow, a signal assignment operator. If I type dot and then another dot, so two dots in a row, it's going to replace it by a right arrow. And if I type semicolon and then two semicolons after each other, it's going to replace it with a variable operator. So in this way, you can insert operators quickly without having to touch the shift key and if you want to insert for example two dots you just undo like this and then it's going to show you the two dots so i hit ctrl z to undo and it did show me the two dots but usually you don't want to have this in your vhdl code so stutter mode is a helpful feature which will save you time let me just show you for example here we have a signal declaration i'm going to assign an initial value I hit semicolon twice and then give the value and same for the reset place my cursor here hit semicolon once hit it twice and then assign the value and if I for example want to assign to the clock signal here I will write clock and no need to hit the space key you can if you want but it will automatically insert spaces if you just place your cursor after the word you want to insert the assignment operator after and then hit comma twice so it will insert the assignment operator and then you can assign anything to that for example not clock after clock period divided by two which is the normal way to generate the clock in the test bench and for example here in my example instantiation if i wanted to add some other signals here let's say we had a signal named sda i'll just type sda and hit dot dot and it will insert that operator scl another signal name dot dot and it inserts that as well and of course you can use it anywhere you can use it in your processes my variable semicolon semicolon and some value my signal comma comma and some other value now if you don't like this feature you can disable it i'm going to hit Control shift p and then type user settings select the user settings json file here you can change the behavior and disable it for example if i want to disable it i can add an entry here type vhdl with and here you see the options you have for this extension stutter mode enabled you can set it to false like that and it's going to be disabled or you can change the behavior of inserting spaces so if you don't want to insert spaces before and after the operators like you saw happened in my example you can set this one to false and then you can change the trigger keys if you don't want comma dot and semicolon to be the keys for example in my keyboard which is a norwegian layout keyboard i want to change the semicolon because the semicolon is not a dedicated key on my keyboard I want to change it to the dash key instead because that has the position of the semicolon on my keyboard so i'm going to save my user settings here and if we go here again to the vhdl file if i now type semicolons it's not going to do anything but if i type the dedicated dash key on my keyboard twice it's going to have the same behavior insert the variable operator okay so that's what i had for you in this video you can check out the description in the marketplace inside of vs code just click the extension and view what's new here and you can also see a video usage description from before 
And if you scroll down, you can see the snippets that are available for VHDL files here for inserting known VHDL constructs and the user configurations for this feature that I just showed you. I hope you find this feature useful. I'm going to implement more features in this extension. I am actually in the process of hiring a developer right now to work part time on this extension because I have many things I want to do with it, but I don't have the time to implement all of those things myself. I implemented this stutter mode myself, but if I want to reach my goals with this extension, I need some help. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.